Welcome back. Now we are ready to install Flare VM. So in order to install Flare VM, you must make sure that your virtual machine is able to access the internet. So click on your virtual machine settings and then go to the network and go to the adapter. Make sure this is attached to NET, Network Address Translation, which means you are able to access the internet. Click OK, then come back to your virtual machine. So we are going to download some stuff from the virtual machine. Let me go to full screen mode and open your Google Chrome browser and head over to FlareVM. Just type GitHub, FlareVM and you should be able to get a page which is this page here. So Flare VM it contains all the tools that you need to do malware analysis that will save you a lot of time and effort because you don't have to manually download the tools to install them. As a time of recording, version 3.0 is the latest and it now supports Windows 10. So we can just scroll down to the installation steps and now download this file right click save link as create a folder in the c drive call it flare vm script and save your powershell script there then we open powershell as administrator so right click on this and search for powershell windows powershell and then right click on this, run as administrator. So now you have opened your PowerShell as administrator. And then you should unblock the install file by doing this. So we will navigate to our installation file. So we change directory to the FlyVM. We go to the FlyVM script and then now if you list it you will find your FlyVM script there. So we should unblock the file by running unblock file. So we type the command unblock dash file unblock file and give the name of the file. Then you hit enter. So the unblock file command has succeeded. Then we should enable script execution by running these uh, parameters, this command. Set execution policy. To unrestricted. Unrestricted. Hit enter. So we ask you to confirm do you want to change the execution policy? You should put A. Yes to all. So just type A in caps, hit enter. Now the next one is to run the script. So just type dot forward slash and then install PS1 and hit enter. Make sure you have no password to log in to your Windows. If you have a password that needs you to log in to Windows, then you have to pass this parameter dash p followed by your password. So in my case, I don't have a password. I just hit enter directly and let it start. Now this will take a few hours. So there is no password, so I hit enter. So you can just leave it running overnight or, or you can just go for a cup of coffee and come back after that. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's completely installed. If you see this thing in red says service Microsoft Defender cannot be stopped, that is normal. It cannot be stopped because we have already totally permanently disabled the Microsoft Windows Defender. If you see your virtual machine restarting 
repeatedly that is quite normal part of the installation requires you to reboot a few times if you see the screen asking you for password and if you did not have any password for your windows just hit enter Finally, after about 2 hours of rebooting and installation, it finally completes. And over here, I'm seeing something in red. It says, reported an unsuccessful exit code of 1. And then over here, it says, install 1 of 1 packages, 0 packages failed. So it seems to be okay. And then if you see your desktop, you can see this new folder here. If you open it, you will see all the tools that has been installed by Flare VM. So that means the installation works. So these are the important things that you'll be using. So there is no error at all. Everything is in order. So now over here it says you can type enter to exit. Now I'll, I'll type enter. E N T E R. Hit enter. And the installation has completed. So now I'm going to reboot this virtual machine. I click on this to reboot. Now my machine has rebooted. So I, if you want to use any of the tools, just double click to open the shortcut here and it will take you to the tools that are available for you to use. Utilities will give you a list of all the tools in here. For example, DIE is there, P Studio is there. PIM. Then you can go to debuggers and you can see x32 dbg, x64 dbg. In dbg is there as well. And you have pen map. Disassemblers. So it seems all our tools are there. So it seems to be a successful installation. So this is how you can uh, install Flare VM in the Windows 10 virtual machine. So now that you have successfully installed this, it is important to take a snapshot. So come to here and then over here go to machine click on snapshot before that let's empty the recycle bin and then go to machine take snapshot and call it flyvm and you might want to put a date to it and then click Okay, so now we've got the snapshot. So now you go to your Oracle virtual machine and you can see here there is already a snapshot. So in future, if you want to do any malware analysis, after doing the analysis, you will come back here and click restore of course your virtual machine needs to be shut down before you can click on restore so this is the workflow for watch for malware analysis after doing analysis come back and restore it so that's all for this video 
Thank you for watching.